Hey Leo and welcome to your tarot love messages for the month. We're going to take a look and see what the month predicts for you in terms of love and romance. These are going to be general messages guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email just below the video here. So these messages here are intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course those tuning into Crosswatch. Let's see what the cards are predicting for you this month here. Okay, let me just get that card. Okay, so there were two cards here that just flew out. You've got the Nine of Swords and you've also got the Eight of Cups here. So eight and nine are probably two um, significant numbers for you this month there could be some important um, occurrences around you know the the, the dates eighth and the ninth okay you've also got this the two of pentacles the queen of pentacles the ace of pentacles the hangman and the death card okay I feel like this is going to be a big month for you here Leo I feel like it's going to be a big month of a lot of changes um I feel like it's going to be a bit of an emotional roller coaster because I feel like you're going to experience a sense of stagnation and then you're going to experience a turning point. There's going to be a shift in energies. It's going to be a bit of a roller coaster. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, but such is a natural rhythm of life. Um, let's begin with the Nine of Swords energy here. Um, I feel like this is definitely something on your mind here and especially to begin the month. I feel like you're going into the month with a bit of a worrisome energy okay there could be something or someone on your mind and i feel like you're just not resting easy it could be feelings of regret shame or hurt you could be ever really overthinking and over analyzing the this um like over analyzing a certain situation so essentially i feel like it's the thought process that's making something worse um there's a need for you to accept where you are because some of you i feel like you're not necessarily in the best situation okay and it may be a little bit hard to accept some of you could be going through a breakup you might have recently experienced someone who has ghosted you or someone who has pulled away or you can feel this person's energy distancing themselves and pulling away from you and it can be sometimes hard to make peace with that but understand that anyone who takes an exit from your life especially around this time like around this month around this time of the reading here um, I feel like the person is taking an exit from your life because the universe is sort of ushering them, you know, ushering them out of your, um, through the door and out of your life purely because I feel like this person has done everything that they could for you. You know, they've either loved you or they've, um, they serve some sort of purpose. Okay. Not, not all connections and all romantic energies that enter your life are going to be there to stay. But I do feel like each one serves a purpose as a meaning behind, you know, each one. And although this person may not be here to stay um, permanently, I do feel like he or she, you know, ha there's been a lesson um, with their energy. And I feel like there's been, you know, th there's been a purpose to them entering your life. They might have helped you grow, evolve. They might, you, they might have uh, taught you some lessons about yourself, about love, or just about, you know, people in general. There's definitely a purpose if you dig deep enough. But anyone... As with their departure, okay, there's a reason for them exiting as well. Trust in the perfection of divine timing and trust that anyone that takes an exit from your life, even if it's an abrupt exit, even if this person goes Casper, they go ghost on you. Trust that the reason this is happening is because, you know, the divine here is orchestrating their departure from your life, orchestrating that, that exit purely because, you know, that person no longer serves a purpose. That person can no longer do they cannot meet your needs your desires they cannot meet your expectations you know they've got nothing left to give um and trust that the universe he wants to line someone else up for you okay they want to you know um they want to um, bring a new romantic energy. They want to bring a new energy into your life. Someone who's in alignment. Someone who can meet and fulfill your needs, your expectations, your you know innermost desires here. So trust that everything is working out. Probably not as you want it to be here, Leo. Okay, and I'm going to be like honest with you. It's probably, you know, you probably wish this person had rather stayed. Or you wish you had explored this connection further. Or you wish that they were honest and they didn't just ghost you. But essentially, it's a lesson. It can be a painful lesson or an uncomfortable lesson, but essentially there's a, you know, there's a lesson behind the departure. There's a reason behind it too, a meaningful one at that. So just trust in the divine perfection of, you know, of the timing and trust that so much of life is about timing as well. Um, and if anyone that wants to take an exit from, um, from your life, which there will be, you may have more than one or two people leaving your life, whether romantic energies or just connecting energies. 
Um, let them walk. Better yet, show them, you know, show them the door. <clears throat> and help them pass through it. Because I feel like, you know, the universe is trying to align you and trying to bring new energies into your life. There is going to be emotional roller coasters because I feel like there is going to be a bit of a fluctuating energy or presence in your life. Or I'm seeing there's a bit of inconsistencies in terms of your romantic life this month. A little bit of ups and downs. <clears throat> And your mood will also reflect this. I feel like some days are probably going to be more, you know, more highlights. Like some days are going to be better than others here. Because I'm seeing that there's some sort of fluctuating presence. Or I'm seeing there could be like a casual arrangement that you have with someone or a friends with benefit type of situation. And you want more from this person. Nothing more will come from this, Leo. Because I feel like there's someone here who, you know, they. I feel like this person can give you what you want. But they can't give you what they need. So I feel like... The, the more expectations that you impose on this person, the more you will be met with disappointment. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you're involved in this frivolous kind of energy with this person. And this person doesn't know what they want, you know. So how can they give you what you need when this person doesn't even know what you want? So I feel like it's all, you know, fun and games. And if you're, you know, if the both of you are just happy to keep it casual, that's great. But I don't know that this person can give you any more beyond that. So that's just a bit of a heads up. Um... I'm seeing, yeah, there's going to be a lot of endings for you this month, especially in terms of relationships. Like for those of you that are online platforms, I feel like there'll be a lot of communication here. You'll be meeting or connecting with a lot of um, energies, but I feel like some will, for example, there will be some connections um, that will eventuate to a date or, you know, to at least... Um, like a lot of texting back and forth but others I feel like there will be a lot of abrupt departures um, and again once again let them it's because that person can do you know no more than what they've done for you so anyone taking an exit once again from your life allow them to do so um, I'm seeing new beginnings here with something though with regards to something here so a new romantic connection for some of you you could strike up a, um you can strike up a match with someone who I feel like wants a relationship, wants a commitment, and someone who is in alignment with, you know, with yourself and with what it is that you want from out of a relationship. So for a lot of you, I feel like there's potential here to build a connection. Someone, especially for those of you that are connecting with someone online. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of online. Um, there is a potential to start a romantic relationship or a connection with someone here. Okay, especially if you're connecting by a social media platform or like a dating app. Um, I'm seeing something stalls here for some of you. Some of you have new beginnings here, Leo, in terms of relationships. Could be friendships, could also extend to business endeavors. Um, and there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of promise in this connect with this connection. A lot of promise. But for others of you, I feel like something stalls. Um, and again, I feel like except some of you need to... Some of you feel stagnated in your life, okay? Some of you feel like, you know, you feel stuck in, especially in your love life or in your relationship or just in general. You feel a sense of stagnation. You feel a sense of stuckness or you feel like things, you know, you feel like they're coming to you. You deserve them, but you feel like, you know, they're not yet manifesting yet. You need to sort of stop blocking your blessings because yes, there is abundance. Look at that. You, you do have abundance. You've got a lot of pentacles here. You do have abundance that's coming to you and you are so very deserving of love and abundance and relationships and an ideal partner and an ideal partnership, but you need to stop blocking your blessings. Okay. You need to, um, some of you, I feel like are sort of, you're delaying, you're delaying that abundance or you, you're delaying those blessings purely because you feel as though you know, maybe you're not deserving of it or you're too focused on it, okay? Try and shift your energy somewhere else because there is someone coming in for you. There is a relationship. There is a new beginning. There is a possibility for reconciliation. There is all this goodness that, you know, wants to make its way to you and you're almost so close in alignment with it. But some of you, I feel like you're too focused. You're coming from a place of, you're trying too hard to, you know, to get there and you can't get there from, you know, from, a place where you're so, you know, you're trying to hard, you're over applying, you're over extending. So you need to make peace with where you are and understand where you are is exactly where you need to be. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes for you this month, especially internally. There's going to be some uncomfortable like endings and some very new and exciting beginnings. Understand, like I did, I did mention, I see a bit of an emotional roller coaster. You'll be connecting with someone from a past energy. You'll have some uncomfortable conversations. You'll have people who ghost you. You'll have people who disappear on you. You'll also have people who just randomly and magically appear out of the blue. Trust 
in the process, okay, trust in the divine timing and the perfection of the universe and the divine timing and trust that this is all transforming you, okay? Everything is happening for you, it's not happening to you, it's happening to help you along, it's happening to it's happening to you or for you rather, you know, to, to help you grow and to help you evolve and to help you transform and it's preparing you for all the goodness that's wanting to come into your life, especially romantically speaking. Alrighty, Leo, and that right there is your reading. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. For those of you after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you later.